So we're trying to get to the con, but um, the police have blocked the road outside of our hotel. Sad. So, um... Fuck off. Ah. I mean, literally, what the fuck? What is happening? Where's Marilyn? I don't know, I'm just holding the... Uh... Okay, hold the elevator. I'm gonna go get Marilyn. There's like actual geese. There's like actual... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not like someone cosplaying a goose. There's like actual geese. What? Just chilling. Where the... Oh my god, hi! <laughs> I thought someone was cosplaying like Donald Duck or something. Need <laughs> 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 to get a footage of the dog. <laughs> really impressive let me buy you a beer I don't know if he's still getting beer but I would like some oh my god this is this is chaos this is literally chaos oh my god there's a baby in there oh no it's a fact the British should not always lie I'm pretty sure we're violating some insurance rule There you go, you got it! Whoop. It's your turn. Are you nervous about this? You are, don't be nervous. There's only like a thousand people here. <laughs> yeah! Oh no, he's lost his pass! Absolutely amazing mechanical wings, expressions, the whole works. Give her a round of applause! So, every 
everyone's filing out the con now. They're leaving MCM now. Very it's sad. over. But I'm also so tired, so I'm excited to go home to be honest. Okay, let's uh, figure out how we get home. Basically, since everyone's leaving Excel, the Uber is like three times the price, so we're slowly walking back to the hotel. So we're walking further away from Excel, and the price is not changing. <laughs> yeah, I forget the next couple lines, but uh, then it goes. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! We're in the process of packing away now. I've got all my stuff down here. There's glitter on the floor, so I'm slowly sweeping it to one corner so we can put it in the bin. <laughs> it's my fault. It's my glitter. <laughs> you were talking about the thing! You were talking about the thing! The, the, the freaking Lion King scene was like, no! The king! The king! The king! I don't want to fall, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, indeed, I don't, indeed. I don't know what was going on. Indeed. Most of it, to be totally honest. <laughs> So we just spent a weekend buying all expensive con merch, and your favourite <laughs> purchase is your Happy Meal toy. <laughs> yes! Look at her! Look at her! She loved me! Snuggle. The cat is alive. He kept her alive for us. She's in there vibing. I think she likes me more now. She cuddles. Aww. We're just sharing all the stuff we, we bought at con uh, this year. And um, I've already got my little peridot. Just, just vibing. Vibing. <laughs> So it is, the weekend is over, I am now home, it is Tuesday, I'm about to go to class, um, I've just taken my COVID test, it is negative, um, and since I was doing that I thought I would just take a quick sidebar to just say that this convention was very different to previous conventions because they brought in social distancing, an optional mask policy. Um, to enter the convention you had to have a negative test or you had to have a proof of vaccination. The con was working at reduced capacity this year, hence why tickets sold out within minutes. Um, the weekend full tickets sold out in about two to five minutes, which has never happened before, like that we weren't really prepared for that, like we were at work when this happened, um, hence why we couldn't get the weekend tickets. And, but I will say that the only day that was fully, fully sold out was the Saturday. So that's when we were at what was deemed as full capacity. And it felt a bit like a Friday or a Sunday um, at a regular convention. Um, the only real issue with people being surrounding you was when a panel would let out or the cosmic competition would let out. Um, other than that, especially with the artist alley, there were some tables uh, where there would be no one around you and it was so much easier to look at merch. Um, a lot of the artists had signs saying please don't touch the merch for obvious reasons and some even supplied hand sanitizer and you so you could like look at the merch and for people like me who are vision impaired it was really helpful to be able to look at merch still so thank you to all those who had hand sanitizer. We don't know when the world is going to go back to normal and as I said We've had a different crew this year for Comic-Con because uh, most of our regular con family are divided by borders. Um, there is not really flights between us, or if there are flights, then it's just too much of a hassle or too expensive to travel. And also, you know, we have jobs and lives. Like, I, I can't go overseas because then I'll miss out on university if I have to quarantine. So... <laughs>